Hey everyone, Igor is here and today I'm going to show you an update to the data visualization tool connection flow in KubeCloud. So here I've got my KubeCloud deployment and I'm on the overview page and you can see that there is a new integration section here that lists all the APIs that are supported by KubeCloud. And if, if there is a connection configured via semantic layer sync, it's going to be reflected as such. So uh, one thing you can do is to click this API credentials button and view uh, the raw credentials for all the APIs from SQL API through REST API all the way to the MDX API. But um, another thing that you can do is to click this connect to cube button that will, will direct you to a new page where all supported tools are listed, right? So you can uh, view, click through all different categories or just select a specific tool and get a suggestion uh, on what is the best way to connect it to KubeCloud. So for example, if I mm, choose preset here, uh, I'll be directed to use uh, semantic layer sync to connect to preset. If I choose Microsoft Excel, the suggestion would be to use the MDX API that complies with the XMLA standard, which is the native way to connect to Excel. Or if I choose mm, Explo, uh, the suggestion would be to use their SQL API. Uh, let me give you some more examples. If you're building a Django application in Python, uh, then the KubeCloud would suggest uh, that the REST API is the best one to use. And if you're building a JavaScript application, then obviously the existing JavaScript SDK or framework-specific SDKs for React, Vue, and Angular um, would be best choices here. So um, you can navigate to uh, this page from, from the overview page or you can just go to the integrations page directly using the sidebar here. All right, that's it for this update. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.